Hey, evening, Kathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 24, episode 46. It's the Next Gen Finals. Our first time participating in such a prestigious event. Of course, it's not the finals for the seniors. We're not quite at that level. 15th, though. We're not far from it. Uh, but we qualify for the Next Gen Finals for this year. For, for Tova is the highest ranked. But Efremova and Andriva are here. So we have three top 10 players. I do come in as the next highest ranked and as the next highest ranked that means i get paired with the highest ranked right one in four in one grouping uh, but that gives me a real shot because we've got then the two weakest we get seven and eight in here as well the advantage of the one seed puts me in a really good potential scenario to get out of the group stage i think with based on my ranking Based on our performance this season, right, we've only won one tournament. I think the reality is that's probably the best I can hope for. Get out of the group stage, then get eliminated just thereafter in, in the elimination rounds. So uh, Corniva and Fernandez are the other two that are here. And Corniva has already lost in straight sets, three sets, three shorter sets is the way this one works. 4-1, 4-1, 4-1 is how that first one went. So we're going to play all three sets, but it's first to four. So it's definitely a shorter, easier, different scenario than what we get with a regular match. Uh, we're going to take on Fernandez. This is going to be the challenging one, right? Feels like Corniva is somebody who's beatable. For Vertova, someone who should beat us. So the key is to not lose to Fernandez. You beat Fernandez, and we're probably going to get out of the group stage. We've got to face her first. We've only played Fernandez once, and it was very recent in Wuhan. 6-1, uh, 6-4. Round of 64. It was very early for that big tournament, but we did get past Fernandez. Uh, she is the one who's got that nice, strong return, but otherwise has a web that is only just, you know, a very well-rounded, good player. Not elite, just good. But she does have excellent form, and it is balanced, but we are favored. Just. All right, so Fernandez gets to serve first. Boy, that's my, how many matches in a row have I been the one returning first? We, we had served first for a long time, a long time. We, we had a really good streak, uh, but amazingly, we found ourselves at the short end of the, of the stick here recently. Oof, that was so close. That does catch the back edge of the line, but probably only just enough so that uh, that's probably the right call that we didn't get it uh, but then Fernandez misses a close one and we find ourselves up in this first game and, and with with four games right to, to finish a set you really don't have much room for error and like that that was a very close one on the outer edge of the line she, she gets the second serve in essentially the same place just a little less pace to it but uh, I think ultimately the identical scenario. So no harm done on her possibly missed call and no real harm done on our possible missed call other than the fact that we would have won this game already. And with a mistake there, we've opened the door. Uh, we go from a break point to all of a sudden we're at deuce. And then that's it. That's it. So now the missed call did cost me that first game again. Was it a missed call? Wasn't it a missed call? It probably wasn't. I'm glad for the big miss there by Fernandez, though, as we do find ourselves down a game. So there is no back and forth. If you get to deuce, the next point, that's it. Period. So the games come to rather abrupt ends. And she gets that call. On the line. Right call. Uh, but again, it was not dead center on the line it was the back edge of the line that was the call we didn't get and we find ourselves now at 30 all yeah pressure is on pressure is on with the format here right the games the games don't go on they don't carry on and the sets don't carry on so every game every point matters it makes it uh makes it more intense for sure Definitely makes it more intense. Uh, but of course here, the tiebreak is why it's so important. Why the format is so elevated. And I would love to see something along these lines in real tournaments. I mean, 
Not that I'm saying tennis needs to have a revamp, but we've seen other sports going through revamps, right? Champions League starting a new format this year with a big group stage uh, instead of the old smaller group stage, but going into elimination from day one, right? So many people, if you're not quite good enough, you play one match and then you move on to a tournament the next week, right? But one match and you're done. Somebody goes home, 50% go home in the first round half the field is eliminated in the first round like it's really hard to make a living if you are going to make it to the second round one out of every three tournaments if you're eliminated in the first round back to back tournaments and then oh you made the second round the third time asking like even then you get eliminated in the next round you're still not making hardly any money. Really hard to survive through that. By the way, we're down two games to one here, and it's 30 all. Critical point. And she goes on the offensive and takes the point. We're back up against it. This is a break point. I, I think we lose this first set if we lose this point right here. If we lose this game, but definitely if we lose this point. We have to win the next two points because there's no carryover. Oh, I thought we had a winner there. We do get a winner there. Yes. Beautiful winner. Second service. Very hard earned. Hernandez is really making us work for it. Oh, come on, come on. Attack, attack, attack. Game yes. Two games yes. Game. Okay. Huge game. Huge couple Love points. That's wide. 15. That's wide. Love 15. And we're getting on the front foot on this point, but then we slice out of it and allow her to attack in. We lob her and yeah, the lob never, never is successful, except for in that one double game. Double fault there, getting us back on top. You can't afford a double fault in this one with, with how close and critical. Back to my point, back to my point. We'll let this game play out. I, I'm feeling the intensity of the moment and like, wait, wait, wait. 30-40. I would love to see a group stage as the first eliminator. Juice. It, it would make a lot more matches, though. But if they were played in this format, everybody is guaranteed um, Game. more games that way. Everybody's going to get to play some matches. And oh, ace, ace, nice. And then we almost followed up with another ace. We very much got on the front foot, but uh, we got a little antsy in our pants there and got off balance and hit a couple balls off balance and eventually allowed for the easy winner against us. And yeah, that was disappointing because we attacked and were on the front foot and got lucky there because that was not... Uh, that was not a worthy winner. Thirty old. Nor was that. Four, Nor was seven. that serve. Holy cow! Nice winner 40, there. Though. Nice. Get back on top. Again, critical moment Juice. here. Seriously, serve was that bad? <laughs> Two straight points and takes the game and the set with single return balls return winners that's pathetic play Second set. what's going on king Second service. coming off our worst match of the entire series and that crap serves so weak Out. 15 low. great Already dropped one set. If we're going to get out of the group stage, this is what it takes. Anyway, a format along the lines of this. Any groups. Groups of four. Three matches. All of a sudden, everybody gets to play three matches. Format like this with the tiebreakers. Shorter sets. But three matches. It's faster. It's faster play. 
So, you know, you can ultimately get in what you need to get in, but yeah, it's, it's going to take a couple of days to, to get through a first round. But from there, the choice then becomes is the extra time to get everybody three short matches. Is that extra time worth it? Uh, if the trade-off is two oh, move on geez. and two are eliminated and ultimately it's the same as a first round though everybody gets to play more matches which is nice but are you going to make enough money for that group stage are you going to get enough of an audience for it it's not like a next gen final where there's only eight to begin with as we break her for the first game and are now leading in the second game so we're looking like we could be eh, it's very early in this set but like I said, it's so critical. Every point is so critical. Uh, we, we seem to be on the pathway towards equalizing with this set. 30, oh, outer edge scrapes the line. That's a call we're not getting. And that's a let we shouldn't get. That should have been a double fault. I know, rules are rules, but we're talking about changes anyway, right? Do you instead look for something along the lines of uh, maybe the alternative is three. Maybe you get a group of three. I think that might be where you have something manageable. Group of three. So everybody's got two matches. So now you're guaranteed at least two matches every time you go to a tournament. Not just one and done uh, for half the field. But you get two matches and two are eliminated. So all of a sudden you're down to one. And uh, I would think the timing, how that would all work, how that would all function, could put you in a scenario where, not doing the math quickly off the top of my head, but if only one are getting through of two matches played for three players, it seems to get you to the same scenario as you would have gotten from four down to Four, one so three seven. down to one is the same number of matches played uh, so you're not quite eliminating as many there will ultimately be a few extra That's matches 40, but no. with everybody being guaranteed two, even if they lose both at least they've had a second chance at it at least they get to play a little bit more before getting eliminated and there Game. could probably three as we go three games one uh, there probably is a scenario where you know, the tiebreakers are used to break up second and third in the prize money pool. Uh, yeah, you're not changing much within the tournament other than that everybody's actually getting to play a little bit more guaranteed two matches. And you've got to control your group. You've got to win your group. You ultimately should be winning two matches to make it happen, right? Uh, or the rare 1-1, one, one, but those tiebreakers become super important. So the intensity of the matches matter a little bit more. I would think it would be a great format, and I think I think that's your path, right? It's not it's not four players. That's too many extra matches, especially if two move on. And if you only get one winner out of the group, you're really putting pressure to be the one winner out of four, and three get eliminated, and then that doesn't have the same feel, right? But I think three groups of three uh, would be an ideal way to breathe a little more life into the sport and from somebody who followed the sport and got away from the sport because it didn't have enough life in it i suppose for me that would be something i would particularly enjoy so spitball anyway rub 40 love on the verge of the set that was an ace based on the call that she's been getting a couple of times she's had a couple of those outer edge of line calls get called in she had that one serve that didn't get called in but anyway four two and well third two four seven. and four two and we head Four, to the decisive third seven. set with the games identical right now uh, at this point in theory whoever wins this set is the clear Four, clear uh, favorite to uh Out. First hero. To claim the blah, 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 match. 15. Words. I know them. I speak them. I forget them. On the front foot for this point. 
and a chance to draw level at 30 all. Very much on the front foot. We've come so close to scoring the winner multiple times, and out of nowhere, with an extreme reach there, she puts in a very solid ball down the line. And now we lock out in that, uh, that ball very much touched the line. So, kept us alive. She takes the game. It sucks that mathematically it's turned out that she's had the advantage of serving first every single set we've played. That's hurt. I'm the higher ranked player, and I've been given a disadvantage three times out. I get that it alternates, but it just sucks as the higher ranked player to be put in a constant disadvantage situation. Anyway, uh, it's 15 all. Definitely a must win game here with serve and with that disadvantage we started with and fantastic winner how in the world did she even get anywhere near that ball it bounced about five times before she reached it not really but still quite quite amazed uh it would be nice if they gave a little more they every year they've added on a little bit more visually with the you know body movement mechanics uh, one thing they have not incorporated yet is that real the lunge the the, the lunge play uh, we did get the game by the way it's one one all now um, that that stretch that lunge that reach where the where you're you know at your full full reach with the racket that that, there's no animation for that one yet and there's balls that they're nowhere near and all of a sudden they go flying over the net <laughs> uh, you're, you're getting on those I mean that was a nice clear one she clearly tried to turn the racket and play the ball the opposite direction and overhit it and it went wide quite a bit wide uh, like a lot of those animations weren't in the game a couple of years ago and are now Two games, nice. Two, two games won. We got the break. If we take it here, this is going to be uh, on the edge. And we'll have multiple, we'll have three opportunities to win the match. If we can get this game. But we lose the first point. Getting onto the front foot here. Yes, we are. We are onto the front foot. We're controlling this rally. And then make the unforced error very unforced error and are now in a dangerous position at love 30 especially when you don't have that back and forth with advantage if you get there just long just half inch long there okay okay definitely getting her a little off balance with her play didn't force a mistake though really good ball to the corner needed to use the left hand side she was anticipating it so we fooled her to go back to the right and then went just wide and are now down 15 40 in the game that could have sealed the deal here 30 40 well not sealed it but you know put that first nail in the coffin I guess it would have been second, because the break was the first, right? Oh, that's wide. Gosh, she's gotten those calls. Like, four out of five times she's gotten those calls. And I haven't gotten any in this match. We've only had a couple occasions, but she keeps getting the call. She keeps getting the call. And this, um, I'm having a rough day with ups. Last episode, I had a real nasty call that that cost us dearly and that's why there is no ump there that's not me trying to justify something right now that was wide that was wide i nearly did though so we're back to 2-2 after she broke me and now she's back on that front foot and second we were right there we were right there She's playing the lines well, and the umps are rewarding her for playing the lines well. 15, We've 13. barely gone anywhere near it, but when we have, the umpire has not given us the call at all. Right? We haven't had one. We're, like, over three on calls at the line, Well, where she's, like, four for five now on calls at the 15, line. 40. 
Match point. 30, 40. It says set point, though. Did not say match point. Okay, I'm a little confused. And there is a column showing a fourth game. Are we going to play a fourth game? A fourth set, that is? Three games all, and it's a tie break. It's a tie break. Who, buddy? And it's not as many points. I think it's only like five or something like that. And we lose the first oh, one. But of course she got to go first again. So everything, everywhere. She's she's had the advantage all the time. And she's gotten those umpire calls. Oh. Having, a, I'm having a hard time. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we have not had justice in this game. And of course, that's the personal bias of wanting to support Martina King. There's probably absolutely nothing to my complaints, but we're up to two points to one. Fault. Second set. Each holding serve on, on their points. Nice, nice. Big point there. It's three one. Like I said, I think it's a win to five. Okay, okay, yes. I'm not seeing a set point or a match point here either way. Just this is the tiebreak, so it's not five. Uh, she got me on the back foot a little bit here, but not so much. Ooh, that is definitely out, but it looked visually like it was going to land in when I saw it flying. Oh, huge back foot take. Now, that, that's correct call, right? That's out. But it, it only needs to touch. It doesn't need to be all the way in or anything. It just needs to touch the line. And that is super close. Um, I think we're now talking four of six. I think we're now talking four of six. I think that's enough. Close enough to be in that conversation. And she did finally not get one of those calls. And we do win the set. And it's not done. We are up two to one. We are up two to one here. You got to win three sets. It's not best of three while playing all three. It's win three. So, yikes. That lowers the intensity a little bit. That's, that is out. That's not four of seven now. That was definitely out, but very close. Probably a 32nd of an inch worse off than the other one. Like the other one was probably the right call, but 90% it's in, or 90% it's out, 10% it's in, right? This time it was like 99% out. 1% of the time, some umpire is going to get a nasty look if they call that one in. Nice winner. We're, we've already won the first game here. From behind, from on the verge of elimination. Well, not elimination, right? It would have been... Going down two sets to one. We find ourselves up two no, sets to one four. and up a game and break point. Four. Second set. Whoa, gosh. Okay, well, there's five of them. What are we at? Five of seven? Uh, she just got another one. That was very much out. She got called in. Oh, yeah. Second two games set. up and 30 love. Great moment. If you can capitalize, if you could sweep this game without giving up a point, it, 30, 50. imagine like what sort of momentum that would build to finish this off. We don't. It's now 30-15. Now we just need to, you know, take care of business and finish the game off. 30 and we don't. She hits us there twice. We attack that left side, creep in. Oh, here's an easy winner. 40, <laughs> Didn't 30. even have to go near the edge. We had her so far off balance, 40-30. Nice. You could have seen a lot more of a lunge within that one because that was the same thing I was talking about without without the proper animation, right? They get a little bit of a lunge, but it's not it's not the hardcore like sliding lunge, full stretch. Just doesn't exist here. But at three games, three games, we're looking pretty dang good now. Even if she takes this, she's got serve now. We just turn around and take our serve game and finish the job. Oh, into the net. I was down love 30, but all of a sudden it's 30 all. 40, 30. Boy, 
she's been playing that line all day long. And with the favorable calls, it's been tough to compete with. Down three games one, or up three games one. Easy winner to start. The, the, this is the game. Like You put it away. You've got to put it away. Good players going to finish the match right here. 30 love. Two more points. Boy, she hit that back with a ton of power. Yowzer! Nick, we wanted to go for a lot, but massively overhit that one. They hit the back wall before, without bouncing. <laughs> Nearly hit the ball boy. Ball person. Nice placement in the corner there. Definitely gets us on the front foot, but she hits a perfect ball to the opposite corner and we can't reach it. 30 all. 40-30. Match point! In the key match, right? Again, can't reinforce this enough. It's on the line. It's right on the oh, middle of the line. Seven. Over four. Over four. I have not gotten one of those calls, right? Hmm. Did I forget one? Did I forget one for this match? We play a lot of matches. I forget from time to time. We get the winner anyway. But she got five of seven. I got over four. <laughs> Fernandez upsets Fruvertova in the morning match of day two, putting them both at one and one. Well, that was unexpected because now Fernandez can go and beat Corneva and might still be in play. Fruvertova, meanwhile, like Corneva should be an easy one. Corneva should be an easy one. We beat her twice all time. It's balanced and we should advance and I'm quick simming this thing takes four sets but we do it four one four one three four four three it's more of a mouthful but I, i'd still take that uh, plus four on the winners on forced errors was plus two and forced errors was plus six just a slight advantage across all facets of the game we had the only ace we did what we needed to do and of course where it showed us those other matches first it doesn't show us this one first we're gonna have to play for Vertova and find out. We beat Fernandez, but if Fru Vertova beats us, we're at two and one, she's at two and one. If Fernandez beats Corneva, she's at two and one. Three players at two and one, the tiebreaker becomes hugely important. But the good news, no matter what, no matter what I've got Fernandez beat, I'm five sets ahead of her. I'm five sets ahead of her. She can only win by three sets. No, wait, that's not no matter what. That is not no matter what. She can, we can have a six set swing, not just a three set swing. Duh, two players, two separate matches. I can lose by three. She can win by three. Um, it's not a done deal. It's not a done deal. In fact, even it, like if she wins all three, she goes plus two. If I lose by more than one, I'm dropping to plus two. If I lose by two sets, I'm down to plus two. This is not over. And for Vertova is already at plus two. So if she beats me, by three she's got me covered and then some she beats me by two she's got me covered uh, if she beats me by one we're level and then it's going to come down to games oh man okay well i'm nervous energy for vitova perfect against us two round of 32s this year in italy and western and southern open and both in straight sets. We've taken her to a tie break twice, but yikes. And uh, look at that quality. Look at that quality. Remember, my best is the court coverage, and it's right there. She's got that in backhand. She's got that in return. She's got that in consistency. And then she's nearly got that everywhere else. It's going to be a tough match. It's going to take a great performance. First. And we're going to take the first set super fast. See how we do. She breaks us on the first game. She takes the second game, even though we got close. We do get one game. Games are going to be important here, not just sets. But we've got to win one of these sets. And it's already set point. Nice serve. Nice comeback on the winner, especially pulling short and getting a spin to uh, pull it a little more left. Yes! Hey, we hang in there for the game. We hang in there for the game. That's good. That's important. 2-3. Got a chance. Set point for either one of us. 
or not set point, game point for either one of us. Set point for her, game point for me. Ah, she got it. Okay, that's first set. First set down. I, I'm assuming we're going to lose this thing. What I'm hoping is that we win one or two sets along the way, or at least we take a bunch of games. We take game one here, but we draw a level at one apiece. Go up to one. Yeah, come on, breaker. No, no, she just shut me out. Eesh, three, two. Tie break. Tie break. It's good for the games count. Good for the games count. Let's go. Oh, that should have been a winner. Man, that court coverage is phenomenal. We got the first point, though. Let's go at an elevated pace here. I'm, I'm already at a, like, just about end of episode kind of thing. And if we do make it out of the group stage, you know, there's more to do. More important matches than this one. And this one, that's the line. That's the line. <clears throat> Down 2-6. Set point. We're about to drop the second straight set. Really needed to get one here. It's not about beating her so much. This is really... The lob doesn't work. <laughs> hey. Uh, it's really about losing close. And I'm hoping that uh, Fernandez does not dominate because I'll be in trouble if that happens. For Vertova, really let me down. Kicking my butt and then losing to Fernandez. Like, we did what we had to do. Like, the it should have been okay, just a foregone conclusion. Sense. For Vertova, goes 3 and out. The other player, the fourth player, goes 0-3. And, and then it was just head-to-head. -head. Fernandez. Who beats Love Fernandez? 15. That was Outer Edge. We actually got a call. Something we didn't get that whole last match. But, of course, we're down two sets. And, like, what does it freaking matter? Just get one set. Get one set. We almost break her. Now she's on the verge of breaking us. She doesn't. And we almost break her again. But we don't. Tie break. And we head to another tie break. This, for her, is Ouch. for the match. And if she takes all three sets, I'm probably out of this group stage. One despite getting the win that I needed to get. The Fernandez match. Going 2-1 and one and getting eliminated is going to be... Infuriating. Second status. Three to one though. Great start to this tiebreak. Four to one. Out. Five to one. That was just out. Correct call. She's also hit the net. Fantastic winner. It's six one. We are gonna get a set. We are gonna get a set. We're giving ourselves a chance here. We're giving ourselves a shot. Game and, third set. and I can only assume that Fernandez is going to win. Her match, she might not, but we got the set. Down two sets to one. We're hanging in there. We're making a match of it. We take game one. She draws level. Take game two. And she's gonna, no, we battle back, but she still takes the game. Three, two. Three all. Tiebreaker, again, third straight set with tiebreaker. And we are again in the scenario where it's a must win, otherwise we're eliminated. This would guarantee that it would be within one set though, and that would give us a heck of a chance, regardless of what happens in the last set, that would give us a real shot at moving on. And we get the first two points here. Lose that one though. Now serving. She goes long, so we go up 3-1. She got that one in. I didn't think she did, but she did. And it was in by a lot. Now 5-4. Uh, we go long. It's 5-all. She double faulted? Really? Ah. 5-6. Match point. Swing your racket. Swing your racket. She didn't. She forgot to swing her racket. That ball was comfortably in. She had time to react and play it. Especially with her level of reactions. So we lose three sets to one. Now, in terms of games, in terms of games, we only lost by three games. That helps. But it was still three sets to one, not three sets to two. So we still lose by two sets. We drop to a plus two. We might be out. 
We might be out. Nava and Cross both losing and... Are we still in? We are still in. We are still in. Back to the group phase. Fernandez. <gasps> what? What? Okay, now, make it make sense. We should be out. For Vertova, 2-1. I'm 2-1. Fernandez is 2-1. We all, in rotation, beat each other. So, head to head. Should not matter. Fernandez beat for Vertova. So, if if head to head matters for Vertova is out, that's why you've got to have a sets and games. That's your tiebreakers. Sets seemingly would come first, right? Eight and four, plus four, but two identical plus twos. Seven and five, seven and five. Forty one and thirty four, fifty six and forty eight. Fifty four percent is it percentage? Fifty five percent? Did I did I get the tiebreaker on? game percentage because she got a plus eight I, I got a plus seven that's pretty freaking simple right identical on sets identical record games should be ahead the only thing i can see here is that i'm 55 percent. i played a lot less games than my plus seven within the what was it 70 75 games played gives me a 55 percent ratio hers is 54 she played a lot more games than i did to get that plus eight that's that's the only answer i've got here because plus eight beats plus seven simple math tiebreaker one ranking one tiebreaker one tiebreaker two it seems natural but it, maybe it's the percent so we made the group stage which was my initial goal we did it with the two and one record which was my target we did it beating fernandez which was my target but fernandez like we never should have been <laughs> In the scenario, she upset for Vertova and uh, threw a wrench in the spokes and absolutely made a meal of what our scenario was there. And I was freaking out. I feel like we should have been eliminated. I think the plus eight should have beat the plus seven. But I, I get the percentage thing and it did show up. Though I would think if that's your real tiebreaker, that's what should be showing, right? It should be games. 55% games for 54% if that's the real tiebreaker then hover over it and see plus eight plus seven and the record anyway and Riva beat us the one time we played last year round of 32 and that's like a 1000 that was one of our first 1000s three sets very close loss I have to simulate though I'm out of time and I don't think we're gonna go very far but we I've gotten past this one. Four, three, four, one, four, two. We move on. Folks, I don't like leaving things on a cliffhanger such as this. And Fruvertova just beat us pretty dang comfortably. Three sets to one in the group stage. And there's no reason to think that she's not going to do it again. As she has qualified for the final here pretty comfortably beating Emerson Jones. Uh, upsetting Mira Andriva, the number nine ranked player, was a surprise. But I'm not going to quick sim the final. I'm not going to super rush the final, so I'm going to have to leave it with the cliffhanger of what's going to happen. It's probably going to be a loss, but I do want to do the match live, but I don't have time to do it for this episode. So I guess we're going to hang this episode up there, set it aside for a little bit, and we'll come back to this. Sorry about that. Don't mean to put you on a cliffhanger, uh, but so be it. <laughs> I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.